So stability and this mm -hmm. mobility mm -hmm. finish here. But here, this is like one, like one and like two inside and then this is okay. So that's like one, like two is about stability and half between stability and mobility. Half is mean like two. So that's when we work and then like three is a whole mobility and stability is so all things that is happening. So a whole movement. So that's on line three. Line one, line two is just line one is about this. Line two just half half before mm -hmm. the end, fifty percent mm -hmm. the end of movement. So that's why we work on it and then bus stop. Okay, but stop can be uh, three times or five times we change and then basic back line because the pressure point the pressure is going here so we're gonna release because the back is like this so we need to release the pressure it got to be mm. one okay and that's why and then this one two mm. and this one three mm. for inside leg so mm. we reverse okay because the body is like this mm. pain is here and the hip from from flat to be more forward. So you see, the hip, if someone see the people lay down, sometimes also you can check if you learn more higher, you will see the hip is more forward like this, and the people walk like this. Okay? A lot of people have this kind of thing, but they don't know what is it. If they lay down and you feel like Sometimes like, you can like see like the hole? buttock is higher, or you can see from the lower back easy. When you put the hands up yeah, there, yeah, you yeah. Like you'll see that, that yeah, they're higher than the other because the, the period is forward. Mm. If you look in the Dr. Jacob or uh, some kind of the guys in the Hebrew you can see a lot of pictures inside that you can see the hip is unbalanced. Okay? Because we go to work in the forward the one. Yeah, so you see the hip actually is like this. And like this. Okay? Okay, but sometimes when the point one and point two inside leg get contraction, so the pressure is go into this and everything is pull up and the pressure goes like this. Okay. Yeah. So this one up, so when they up, they make the knee, they make the knee bend. Forward. So the pressure goes to the lower back, and then the glute one side is over, and one side is a little bit like <coughs> this is further forward, this is further back. So sometimes when you see the back is one is higher, lower back one is higher, one is, one is lower. Mm. So that's the pressure is here. So that's just the thing you can see many ways to check the assessment. That's why we do basic line on the back and then we go to basic line on the back for a re re release of pressure on the lower back and then basic line outside leg and first in the why we do in the white tree because white tree is piriform is uh, piriform so piriform is about the piriform is okay piriform is the Piriform is where is uh, the muscle from sacrum across like this into trochanter and then sciatic nerve come out from here down to the leg, down to the calf and one is going to tibia and tibia between line 1 and line 2 outside. So when the hip is not balanced like pronate or supinate or internal or external not good they compress the nerve. When the nerve is compressed in this area, they block hamstring. When the hamstring is blocked, it short. So they're gonna pull in the knee like this. And then quadriceps slows down. That's why it's knee bent. And when the people make a movement, so they get impact into the lower back. So that's why also when you press on point three to here release the pressure on piriformis and when the piriform is open the nerve can send mm -hmm. the link energy to, to make a sensitivity so release yeah. so like this okay.
Okay. So and then point point two inside. Point two inside. We need adapter. Adapter is opposite. Adapter. Mm -hmm. okay. Adapter. Open like this. This is this is a uh, we call it AD. And this one AD at. Mm -hmm. So if too much like this, you see when you turn the knee product in, you see adapter is uh, lightly short mm -hmm. because they pull up. So mm -hmm. they pull up. When you pull up, it looks like when you prone the knee in and straight your back. You see the pressure also goes to here. So if you do it like this, point point one is here, point two. You see if you touch touch adapter, it's about one fingertip behind the back. It's point one. So so straight in line together. So when you release adapter like this, so you can relax. That's why the reason why we have to press on point two, why you have to press on point three, why you have to press on point one, the reason of the mobility of movement of contraction and over stretching or over contraction we release on to relax them. So the movement, the functional movement is reversed back. So they in, they make out. Mm -hmm. And this one is out. We make in. So a little opposite. So after this morning we can do on this one. Okay? Okay. Is that knee pain with pronation of knee? Yes. Yeah because oh. when they pain they, they Hamstring mm. contraction up, and then you see when you do like this, they in a little bit in, and you see when you curl feel it in, okay, and you stretch your back, you see the pressure is oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that people feel like this. Mm. Sometimes people feel pain, not outside knee, but more inside knee, like feel like over stretching, something mm. like this. And the pain on lower back, and sometimes you feel the hamstring is very sharp pain, you know. And sometimes you feel like overstretching here. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in your adapter, you feel like sharp. So that is the way how to work. Okay. And sometimes you feel like something right here is tight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like this. But we do uh, mm -hmm. both legs actually. Huh? We do the both legs. And length. actually, in a full sequence, we work both legs. Okay. We work. The size is which is where the pain first mm. and go to yeah. regular side for relaxing and come back to mm -hmm. the power yeah. side again twice. We have twice that mean because that side is straight than this side. So you have to release this side and go to this side and come back to this side again. But in the book you, you mentioned two different uh, pain. Huh? The, yeah, yes, the, yes, but not now, after. after. After we're gonna learn another sequence we call back pain, but down into the ankle I feel the people feel ankle sprain. Yeah. So sometimes the ankle sprain reason reasonable if we barely walk on the floor and you feel like this. That's the came from the hip and balance for too much external rotation. Weakness on the IT band line three and weakness on the glute, weakness on hip flexion. Okay? And every time when you straight the knee, they click because they're too much like this. And the shoes outside is more gone. Also, when you walk like this, or you do yoga like this, and you feel like, like not stable because this one is weak. So then, to sharp, this one is weak. But if you contract the in, that's why in every mostly many things about balan, they say mula bandha. Mula bandha is you contraction the. Okay, you contraction. Adapter in into in contraction collateral in like this. Mulabanda is contraction. If you don't contraction this, you cannot turn it. So if you go like this, you're not contraction. You cannot tap the knees back contract. So you will feel like this. So everything is like this. If you're not contraction, adapter, in, you see, when I move, everything moves. So you can go anything like all protection the back and everything. All go any kind of thing like this, all thing. So you have to make so the manner is contraction the back. So four parts of the body. So that means if you look, if I cut my body in half, you will see my, my body like this is a spine. This is the belly. Okay, the spine is here. This is a rib cage. 
Ah, uh, like this. This is belly. Ah, uh, so when you move up under, you can function the back to the groin, the back the other side to the groin. You compression everything into the center. That means sumana, center of the body. You know, mm -hmm. if you cut the body like this, if this is my body, cut half. If you look from this way, uh, this one is my my this my this side go to this my this side go to this so crossing my X form. So the center here is underneath the belly, between the belly and and lower back, or between belly and the like spine. Mm -hmm. Inside. So you contraction inside here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why to be sumana stable. Mm -hmm. To that we call Murubanda. Murubanda with contraction. And us in, 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 in. And you can be stable. Mm -hmm. In any kind of exercise. Squat, handstand, headstand. Okay, any position you have to strain the core. Mm -hmm. So the core contracted, mm -hmm. that's Murubanda. So that's the one of the techniques why you have to make a balance. Okay, so like this. Mm -hmm. And that's why Mulamana is kind of Sumana center of the balance in this year. Okay, so this is how we work, okay? <laughs> so and this one also you can help a lot of people have a problem because so many techniques have to help the hip balance. This is also a hip balance, but someone has an injury on the knee, it's like a swelling knee or whatever, especially from this kind of syndrome. Many syndromes is quite similar, but the pain. Sometimes you can a lower back just down to the thigh, but it, but pinch the knee a little bit. But someone has even more like swelling knee. So when you have swelling knee, you an option of the pressure point again, pressure point on the knee more mm. and more. But today we learn just regular the base of the pattern of how mm -hmm. to work on this kind of thing. But when the people have more, oh I pinch back, meniscus, meniscus, oh like a needle. Yeah, when I bend my knee, I feel like a plastic bag. <laughs> Like inside, so you press on point four and point two inside. That's we running like this, crossing. Okay. If you want cover a whole movement mobility of the upper leg, in point three, right? Because when you step on adapter on point two, you feel around the knee about the mobility like this, around the all the insertion of what is it inner, outer, and the band hand to everything around. So, Gita and Gita around. So it's like three. So you press right to move you around and you also press it. Okay, like this. So you adapt, you add more for this. Okay? So mm -hmm. this is how we work. Yep. But later, now we stay in the simple pattern, basic yep. pattern first. Remember, now lower back pain down to the knee. One, three, two, one is the pressure Excuse on the back by the face. Three, it can why? Because of stability and mobility. Three, and also, uh, and one, three, two, and also mobility of inward. Because this is out, because it's in, release in, relax out. So, one, three, and two, focus. Okay. Uh, done. Practice now.